What's going on? Hey, somebody's here. What even is this? Was that not a dream after all? Is that boy able to see the delusion? Sure seems that way. We should go ask. By which I mean, Asahi should go ask. Oh, why is it always me? Okay, fine, I'll do it. But I won't like it. Yo, got a minute? Huh? Damn, you're that guy! Hey, wait, stop! Oh no, he ran away! But why? What reason would he have to run from you? I don't know, but this is exactly why I didn't want to talk to him in the first place. Rejection hurts, you know. Does this mean we've got another person to chase after? He's a speedy one. He's way too far away for us to catch at this point. Real shame, though. Just because you're in neat doesn't mean your legs don't work, you lazy dingus! Damn it, Pinkoon, stop showing up just long enough to insult me. I do get the feeling that if we were to chase after him now, it would simply be a repeat of yesterday's pursuit. You wouldn't happen to know who he is, would you? Nope. Never seen him before. No past beef that I'm aware of or anything. Could he be the one responsible for the delusion, then? Somehow he doesn't quite... look the part, as odd as that is to say. There's a different air about him than the people of Akihabara. I don't think he has any connection to the delusion. He did look kind of... pretty. Like one of those fashionable boys from Shibuya or Shinjuku or something. We've been getting a lot of guys like that in Akiba lately. They troll the cafes trying to pick up the maids. Men like that try to pick up maids? Yeah, Moe had to deal with a guy like that a while back. He was real persistent, hitting on her day in and day out. But Moe's a pro, so she just kept smiling warmly while rejecting his advances day in and day out till he went away. She just... kept smiling? Every day? Saki, is something wrong? I see. That explains it then. Uh, what explains what exactly? The one who spawned the maid delusion is undoubtedly a maid, not an otaku. Ryu, you get it too, don't you? I think I do. Uh, hey, hi. Clueless dude here. Care to fill me in? For me, repeating the same Sunday over and over again put me on edge because there were never any changes. Normally, I'd go to school during the week and do other stuff on weekends. But now, suddenly life was a set routine. I just kept thinking, what if there were no event? Would that be better? And the whole thing was driving me crazy. Now imagine if her life had the same routine day in and day out, even before the loop began. Wait, are you saying... Welcome back, Master, Mistress. Maids do the same things every day of their lives. Their routine is set. Monday or Sunday, workday or holiday, it's all the same to them. So repeating the same day over and over again isn't much different than their daily lives. It wouldn't be so bad. Now that you mention it, Moe hasn't missed a single day of work since she first accepted the job. Then the maid delusion could very well be hers. Come on, we need to find her. Moe really isn't scared of what's happening around her. If I know Moe, she's not thinking of herself at all. 
She's entirely concerned with ensuring her customers are happy. Wait a sec. Both of you, look over there. Oh, whoa, it's Blondie. Huh? Why are you guys here? Crap, he got away again. What is his deal? His timing and location choices are a little too close for comfort. Oh, Master Asahi, something terrible has happened. What is it? It's Moe. She's been kidnapped by a strange man. Kidnapped? Could someone else have realized that she was the Deluser? Who kidnapped her? Did you get a look at his face? It happened right as she was leaving work, so I couldn't see him clearly. But you just said you knew it was a man. How? What did you see? Oh, well, he was wearing a pink cape. That much I could make out. And based on his stature, it had to have been a man. A pink cape? So you're telling me a man in a pink cape kidnapped a maid in the middle of Akiba in broad daylight? Yes, that's exactly what happened. I know it's hard to believe, but please, you have to believe me. I, I saw it ha happen too. M M Moe, my, my, my poor Moe. He, he just s swept in and, and took her away. He, he kidnapped her right off the street. We have multiple witnesses then. We have to hurry. They shouldn't have made it out of Akihabara yet. Yeah, let's find this pink caped creep and rescue her. your time? I'm wondering if you've seen a man wearing a pink cape in the general vicinity. Again with the pink cape? Ugh, look, I totally haven't seen anyone like that, so stop bugging me. Again? Some weird girl asked me the same thing like a minute ago. You seen a guy in a pink cape? No, I haven't. Who has? But if you do, tell me, because I totally want to see him. It takes some real style to pull off a pink cape in public. So does this mean we're not the only ones looking for the man in pink? Can I go now, or should I tell you a few more times that I haven't seen your pink superhero? Oh, sorry. Yeah, by all means. Thank you for the information, at least. Mind if I ask you a question? Huh? You got some business with me or something? I'm looking for a man in a pink cape. You seen him anywhere? Think I'd remember if I did. Did you say he was wearing a freaking pink cape? I know, crazy, right? How about a tiny maid being forcibly dragged off by some dude? Haven't seen or heard anything about that, have you? <laughs> 